students for last many days we have been talking about an important chapter from grammar namely noun i have uh, given you an exercise to sum up and i felt that it is uh, really very important to change our course of talk and uh, so i have decided to take a very serious and important novel the old man and the sea written by american author ernest hemming in 1951 when you look at the book we find that it is a very short novel it does not have long description of the endeavor made by Sintagu for catching the giant marley. Despite its being very short, it has been awarded Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 1953 and Nobel Prize in Literature in 1954. Definitely, it had some merit to get award and it was appreciated and admired across the globe. The reason was not that it was a short novel. The reason was the contents and the intents that this novel has dealt with. Can you believe that uh, the author can take risk of making the character who is an old man, who is an aging Cuban fisherman, who struggles with a giant marlin out in the Gulf stream of the coast of Florida and does not catch any fish for last 84 days. What a great failure he has achieved in his life. So generally we find in the story that there is no this kind of character. And it does not catch the interest of the reader as well. Reader also wants to see a character, a protagonist who at last wins despite the very complex situation in between his endeavor and success. He should win. He should be a victor. So, he has gone against the tradition of writing novel. He has, perhaps out of his experience, thought that he should write about the character who has not been labeled as a lucky one. You know, so it is the novel which has the story of a battle that is between aging and experienced fisherman Santiago and the last Maori. You know, we can not see this kind of situation elsewhere that uh, Santiago like character spends 84 days without any catching of a fish and however he is treated like the hero of the novel. We cannot think a character who is an old man to be the hero. We do not traditionally find that people or a reader are eager to accept this kind of character in their lives only for his endeavor that is not losing his heart but here is the merit you know we can say against a few successful persons in this world millions of people are unsuccessful however they have the very brilliant story to tell but unfortunately their story is not brought out because of the conventional story writing system. But uh, here we can find that uh, 
a person who is an unlucky one or some reason or other is the main character and it is his struggle that has become the main you know what you can call center around which the story is moving so we can find that there is a young just a boy named Manolin who has firm belief in the old character Santiago only just a few we can find of this nature who believe in somebody's confidence somebody's endeavor and uh, who may think that he is going to win at last this kind of support we hardly find in our family and society so his parents are preventing him from going with Santiago is rather advised to go with uh, the fisherman who is successful that uh, if we can learn how to get success out of his experience or oh, we can see that there are so, so many institutions running in this world of the successful people in different fields um, just uh, telling uh, their experience of success and nobody is going to listen to the a story of the struggle of an unsuccessful person here we are simply just expected a person to be successful or uh, just failure does not have any place in our mind in our society but uh, we find Manol who visits Santiago's heart each night to catch his uh, fishing gear and prepare food. He talks about American baseball and his favorite player named Joe DiMaggio and uh, it is what the encouraging situation is for Santiago. We can also say that we want support during our failures. It is just uh, the very much motivational factor for an unsuccessful person. You know, that uh, he requires it for his just a uh, continuous spirit. You know, even a very uh, you know, a strong person loses his heart in failure. So this kind of uh, situation is not easy to bear with. And uh, we have the stories of lots of people who commit suicide uh, just uh, in failures. And uh, the persons who are committing suicide are not the minor people. They are holding high status. They are known as uh, ideals. However, one or two successes, uh, failures in his life make him take this kind of extreme steps. Okay, I, I do not support that uh, they should commit this kind of thing. But it happens. It happens that we lose our heart in failure. But here, St. does not lose in his age that he will venture far out into the Gulf Stream next day north of Cuba in the Straits of Florida to fish. The old man feels confident of cleaning out unlucky strife very soon. It is a rare virtue that we can find in a person. Only a few people are gifted with this virtue that despite failures, after failures, he does not lose his art in his confidence, in his ability. So it is the 85th day and uh, he is uh, just uh, all, you know, for all confident, all dedicated to just uh, go to catch fish into the Gulf Stream. And so he, he sets his lines. He has his bait taken by a big fish very soon. Now he thinks that it is a marlin 
he does not find himself able to hold or in the great uh, just in the great mali so he is pulled by the mali we can simply do not imagine this kind of a struggle which goes on for two days and two nights against the powerful mali of an old person physically and mentally we think that old person are gone their days are gone they are not able to sustain their vitality to fight against but what do we find we find that just uh, this he is badly wounded by the struggle and he feels painful he is uh, just uh, ready to give challenge to adversity adversity is not here able to uh, make him surrender no he is just um, just uh, all sure to uh, kick off adversity but uh, adversity is described to be the brother of an unsuccessful person most of you find people talking who is not a successful one that he is unlucky he is just miss uh, unfortunate that uh, he did not get a success now we are trying to um, just make balance uh, in during our failure and so we do not uh, blame ourselves in this situation we try to uh, see for another just explanations maybe unlock maybe adversity and so on but here despite two days and two nights of struggles he is still vital he is still full with energy uh, that the fish begins to circle the skiff or boat now we find santiago completely worn out he is completely exhausted he applies all his remaining strength to pull the fish onto the side that he could stab the marlin with a harpoon he slashes the marlin to the side of the skiff and heads home now he thinks that it will bring out the high price so many people they will feed now one can be very much smiling in this situation that okay the struggle is gone now when fish is in his command this is totally uh, now uh, lost and if this does not have any kind of resistance to create we can smile now that we have got a success but we don't know in what way troubles come in our way it it is uh, just vivekanand uh, saying that uh, i want to make you remind that we should not stop till we get our target here he is also not stopping he has been a sense of relief in sigh that okay marlin is in command but when he was on his way to return shore sharks attracted the marlin's blood now there is another problem this time the problem was in form of marlin that uh, it made him wounded it made him exhausted but now another big problem was facing was just posing lots of troubles for him he although killed a great shark with a, his harpoon but in this course he lost the whole thing now He is just like a warrior without his open in the battlefield. Isn't it very challenging for the person to be in the battle without uh, the weapon? But he is there, just uh, fighting, and he made a new, just a harpoon. Uh, but uh, here he is just killing five sharks. and uh, many were driven away 
so we can appreciate his just spirit we can appreciate his just a uh, uh, stern faith in his ability but the sars kept on coming by night the sars devoured almost the entire marin's carcass now it was simply a skeleton left we can see that he was victor once again uh, against the fight with shark so in both the battles first against marlin second against a shark he was victor but what did he get after this war you know sometimes we find that after great battle the victor does not get anything he remains empty handed it is like that you know can you call it a just a victory that we do not get anything now it is no sense of relief that we get uh, but here uh, just uh, he realized that his dreams uh, were just made true but uh, when just he reached the shore it was down next day he struggled to the shark because he just he struggled to his heart because he was carrying the heavy mast on his shoulder leaving the fish head and the bones on the shore coming home he sank into his bed and fell into a deep sleep now next day we find the neighbors come here and the fishermen came to his boat where his skeleton was still attached it was the of a major to be of 18 feet and 5.5 meter from nose to tail you know and uh, we can see that uh, the fisher man were talking about some chat you it was uh, they were feeling very sorry for him yes uh, we can say that uh, this kind of end of a struggle just uh, makes us sorry we can simply say what kind of unlucky person he is that whether he should describe himself to be a successful one or an unsuccessful one we don't have just uh, any decisive you know term to make so all people are coming and uh, after looking at such a large marlin skeleton is uh, just uh, admiring the strength of uh, just santiago but here nobody is concerned about santiago where he is whether he is alive no now the world is not uh, just uh, stopping for us the world is not going to ask anything for our struggle except that boy manolin who is very sorry when he does not find that old person now he rushes to his heart and he is very much relaxed when he sees that okay he is safe asleep with his injuries now marlin brought him newspaper and coffee and uh, when the old man woke up he, they he, they promised to uh, fish together once again you know just uh, upon the return to sleep santiago dreamt of the his young he uh, age of lines on an african beach so this is all the reflection that we find is coming uh, in his mind once again that dream is an indicator of the fact that he is not a person to lose his stamina he is discharging himself by the dream he is just uh, uh, trying to make himself happy with that dream that uh, it 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 has been the dream of his childhood and uh, seeing that kind of dream is uh, just uh, uh, for making him strong once again that he is not uh, just going to uh, surrender to the situation that uh, he is still not ready to accept 
this kind of defeat. It is half victory, half defeat. Uh, it was never described to be the full victory. Now somebody can be boastful of uh, the struggle, of the battle that he has made. And one should be because it was not a minor battle that he has made. But uh, it cannot be described as a full victory as well. So, might be the person can think, okay, enough is enough. Now we should stop doing anything in uh, our life. Because what the life is uh, just demanding from him, he does not know how to get, how to get this kind of thing. Uh, that is known as a victory, that is known as success. So, it is uh, just a uh, just a kind of lamp which has been burned by any or millions of people who uh, really remain unsuccessful throughout their lives and uh, who are lost also who are exhausted also who are uh, physically mentally wounded also he is bruised also and he does not find any encouragement to go on the next attempt for the battle so we can say that it is very much a, a pivotal to notice that we should never, never stop ourselves. Till life goes on, our battle should go on. It is what our uh, text, the Gita also interprets, that we should not be concerned of any result because it is not in our hand. Yes, the important thing is that we should work and work and work. It, we, we should do our duty and duty and duty. It, we are born for doing our duty without uh, thinking of the result and consequence of all these kind of things. So uh, he was perhaps inspired by that lesson of the Gita and uh, he has made this kind of character and this kind of situation when person should not lose his heart and person should make it uh, possible you know and uh, it is by this kind of jajba we can say we should be made of it is what the human adventure is and the adventurism is uh, just a uh, very much uh, what you can call uh, expression of our internal strength uh, adventure is really going to test our mindset it is mental strength which is also tested by uh, adventurous uh, life and uh, yes whether just we are getting success or we are getting unsuccess it is another thing it should also be talked but we can also talk the story of the unsuccessful person who remained unsuccessful throughout the life but uh, he should be admi admired equally also as we are admiring the successful person so this is what the lesson is there that we should take into our mind and we can move on in our life thank you